High school is an interesting journey. I was painfully shy. Could barely say my name in front of people, just painfully shy. And I loved grandma. I admired her so much. And during this time where grandpa's passed away, she's figuring out where she starts and stops in life. And I watched that journey, and she and I used to go on walks together. We'd do Bible studies together, mani pedicures, watch old movies together. We just had a lot of time together, and I got to know her as a woman. But she had this habit that made me uncomfortable. And if she could just change this habit, I would be more comfortable and she would be behaving more appropriately in my mind as a teenager. Have we ever felt this way about somebody we love? Am I alone? Okay. okay. <laughs> and it's really difficult to confront somebody that you love, right? And share something that's been laid on your heart to do. And I had this moment, I had this opportunity and this is where this behavior would take place. It was in the grocery store. Now, I mentioned Italian grandmother, right? So something that's really important with Italian meals is the bread, right? The bread needs to be just right. It can't be too crunchy. It can't be like soggy. It's got to be firm. Like there's, it has to be just right. And she took great pride in making sure it was the right kind of bread. So I knew it was going to happen if we went to the grocery store. And painfully shy, right? I mentioned that a couple times, I was painfully shy. So we go to the grocery store and I'd feel the stress kind of rise in me because I knew what was happening. I knew it was gonna, gonna happen when we got to that bread aisle. Crunch, eh, I can't believe they're serving this. What are they thinking? She kind of tosses it that way. I try to put it back properly where it's supposed to be. Crunch, squish, what, what are they doing? What are they thinking here? And she's tossing this, I'm getting horrified. This is not our bread. We shouldn't be going around squishing bread that doesn't belong to us. And we should be putting it back exactly where it belongs. Those are the rules. And so I'm softly trying to feel the bread and find the proper one that'll pass and we finally get the right bread. It felt like forever, you know, all five minutes of this experience <laughs> felt like forever. We get to the front of the room and I know this is my moment, the front of the store. We're about to check out, there's a quiet space I need to inform grandma this isn't okay. And I know you want to do these things right when the behavior has happened and it's fresh in everyone's mind. Pulled my courage up and I go, Grandma, I, I need to talk with you about something. She fully turns all her power and energy to me. Yes, and it felt like, oh, ooh, I, could, I could feel the heat rising a little bit. I go, Grandma, we can't go around squishing other people's bread. It's not our bread. And I was, in all sincerity, very concerned someone didn't teach her this. I, I don't know what, what happened, but we can't, we can't do this anymore. And all the energy shifted, and it was like the, the compressed big got even bigger. And I could only capture some of it by putting my hand on my hip. It was like that kind of energy. She didn't have to do that to pull that energy. And she looks at me, she goes, eh, what are they going to do? I'm the grandma. <laughs> I thought, well, she, she's not getting the message. We just need to leave. Retreat, retreat, leave, exit the store. I look back at that moment, and she taught me a powerful lesson. And I looked at how it echoed through every step of her life of finding where she stopped and started. She didn't wait for permission. She was grandma. She was going to figure out what that meant, who that was, where she started and stopped now that she was no longer a we, but she was grandma. She learned how to line dance. She got a silver sports car, went 25. <laughs> and I love that she embraced life fully and was courageous enough to not wait for somebody to define it for her or share how you're supposed to handle or not handle bread. And I'm so thankful for that lesson. And she's impacted multiple generations. You go to any one of our dinners, you do this, they will finish the sentence. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm the, and they will claim that space. So they're very animated meals, as you may guess. <laughs> and I love it. 
And I want us, as we are stepping forward and we're shining, if you're waiting for permission granted, this is your time. It, let's shine. Let's share. Let's figure out where we start and stop. Let's discover that. Let's be courageous about how bright can we shine? How many people can we reach? How do I want to show up? And guess what? It's okay to find up. Yep, I don't think I want to do that again. That's okay. Now we know. Then we get up and we try again and we try something else. Let's learn. Let's discover where we start and stop. Mm-hmm.